Hey, it's been a while, but hi. Hello, Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season. I just always have life happen. I decided to go back to work after I had maternity leave back in like March. And then I went to Greece and then I got my nose fixed because I had a deviated septum. And then I was supposed to have a foot surgery too, but that got canceled and then the holidays happened. I also have a one-year-old son, so it's a lot. I'm hoping this year I could stay more on track with filming. At least that's the plan. So obviously this video is going to be a thrift haul. I thought it'd be a nice little comeback from my very long break. And I have accumulated quite a few things. Let's get started. The first items I want to show are going to be tops. The first item is going to be a really weird top. Um, it's a bandana, but someone sewed little strings on the sides and made it into a top that you could wear. And I thought that was really cute. Next top is a 70s little blouse. I thought it was really cute because it's like pink and it has florals on it. And then it has these like little tie designs on the sleeves which i thought was really cool and it also had a tag still attached to it i never find 70s items with tags still attached to it and i found this one and it was once by jc pennies and the brand of the top is poly california next two items are from the 90s i would say late 90s i remember these tops when i was a child they're just plaid and then they have a denim collar on it i got two of them. I didn't know which color way I wanted. There's this one and there's this one and they're by Crazy Kai and they also are short sleeves so they're going to be perfect for summertime. Next item is a 70s little blouse that's gingham and like the top is really cute with little ruffle sleeves and it's like a tunic style and it has like a pocket in the middle with a little strawberry patch which I thought was super cute. And this top is also by JCPenney's Carol Evans No Iron. Next item is just this stripe single stitch tank top and it's by Pacific Scene Sportswear. Next item is also a 90s little top. I believe it's late 90s. It's by Exhilaration so it's like a Target brand but it's super cute. I love little denim vest. Found another little 70s top. I'm assuming it used to be a set but it's just this little striped brown blouse. I thought it was really pretty and I loved the buttons on it and this top is by R&K Knits for the girl who knows clothes. And I found another vest and it's just this little 70s one with like little diamond patterns on it and it was by Mr. Wynn California by Teddy. I'm sure this was a part of the set as well. <laughs> then I found this 70s little sweater vest. I'm obsessed with this sweater vest. I think I've worn it quite a bit since I've found it. It's by Duet Creations Incorporated and I really love the neckline of it too. It's like a kind of like a square neckline. So I found out one of my favorite thrift stores is going out of business where I live and it made me really, really sad. And why I'm saying this is because this is like one of the last items that I found from that thrift store. It's just this Big Bear California, little long sleeve. It's single stitch on the bottom. It's from 1986 by CNH t-shirts. I thought it was really cool. And then I found just a classic Long sleeve thermal. I love finding thermals. They're perfect for winter time. This one's by J. E. Morgan. Long Johns. And then I found this really fun, funky, like 70s top. It has like a zipper back and it's kind of like a mock neck, turtleneck kind of thing going on. Since I wear a lot of thermals that are just white, I kind of get bored of them during winter time. So I was excited to find these little 70s tops. They're like single stitch on the sleeves and like the hem. The inside lining of this is like fleece. It's a little bit of like a mock neck, but I love the color of this and it's something different than just me wearing a thermal every day in winter, which I get really bored of. <laughs> I also found this little 70s long sleeve, which will be perfect for winter time as well. It also has this really cool like pockets 
on the sides, which is weird, but kind of cool. And it's by Joe Webb. And then this one also has a tag still attached to it. So that's pretty cool. And then I found another long sleeve that I'm excited to find. It's this like rusty color. That's a v-neck. I have not worn a v-neck in like forever. I don't remember the last time I've seen someone wear a v-neck. And it's by Quality Tailored 100% Acrylic C-O-T-C. And then I have some button up tops like this 70s one which i thought was really fun and i liked the front of it like the little button detail design right there it's just striped it's by it's by this brand i'm not even gonna try and pronounce it and then i found this 70s giraffe top i loved the pattern of this it's just a bunch of giraffes the color is pointed it's by the brand miss excello a john white's design found another 70s top I really like this one. It has a really pretty plaid and like floral design throughout it. And I love the collar. And it's by Durable Press Never Needs Ironing. I don't know if that's the actual brand, but you know. And the sleeves when you wear this are very billowy, like they're poofy. All right, so I have some flannels. I found this flannel. I love the colors of this one. I love brown flannels, I have quite a few. Here's another one adding to the collection. It's by Big Mac, JC Pennies, and someone left a little fishing swivel thing. I don't know what this is called exactly, but I know it's for fishing. I found this little flannel. I actually found this in the kids section, but I could kind of somewhat squeeze into it. <laughs> my main intention was to get it for my son for when he gets older, but I feel like I could wear it until then. It's by El Dorado, made in USA. And then last top and flannel type item is this I want to say 90s, 90s, early 2000s Christmas. I'm sure it was a shirt, but I'm gonna use it as kind of like a flannel. And it has these little candle Christmas designs on it by Nutcracker. We're gonna move on to sweaters now. First sweater I have is this Tahoe sweater with penguins on it. This sweater is super soft and I thought it was pretty cute. And someone cut the like front it to make it a little bit like a v-neck and it's kind of flattering. By Hanes, this is a short sleeve sweater and I got it because it was so incredibly soft. It says, I'm probably gonna say it wrong, Kiwanis International. On the back it says Sunland Tahunga Rotary. And it doesn't really have a brand. This is what the tag looks like though. And then I got another sweatshirt, but this one is a zip up. Hoodie. I love finding vintage zip up hoodies because they're not as easy to find as just pullover sweatshirts. This one is by Tracking Court and it even says Tracking Court on the front, but I'm thinking of putting a little patch on the front because the blue throws me off of the yellow. I found another sweatshirt. It's an autumn one. It has these autumn leaves with some acorns on it. It has some buttons. It's by Orbis. And I really like the tag because it has fishing poles and a little fishing basket on it. And I thought that was really cute. I wore this a bit during fall time. Here's another Christmas sweater. I think it's it's probably early 2000s, this one. I, not technically vintage, but I had to show it because look how cute little birdies. I believe they're robins. I liked the collar on it, but this one was just super soft. This beautiful 70s top, it's like a faux shirt underneath with like a little cardigan kind of thing going on. And it has a tie as well. And it's by Montgomery Ward. And it also came with the tag still attached, which is pretty cool. And then also came with some extra yarn just in case. I have another Christmas sweater. This one's like a knitted sweater with little stockings on it. I thought it was so cute. And it zip ups. And it's by Designer Studio Originals. I found a 90s, early 2000s poncho. It's asymmetrical with fringe on one side. Really like the design. It's nice and basic. It's by the brand Rave. And then I also found, this is somewhat of a Christmassy sweater, kind of. The colors remind me of Christmas. I thought it was really pretty and gorgeous. And it's by the brand Encore, made in Italy. For some reason, I love finding Kmart items. 
but I don't I don't know why. But this is like a Kmart cardigan that's vintage from like the 70s. I wasn't going to get it actually because it was missing a button. It comes with a button on the side so I could fix it. Then I found this sweater. It's like a short sleeve little sweater by the fashion place Sears Roebuck and Co. This is my favorite Christmas sweater that I found. It's some um, mousse niece on the front and it's beautiful patterned it's wool and it's by pendleton then i found this i believe 70s cardigan sweater i don't know it reminds me of your grandpa which i kind of liked it's by clipper mist knitwear of distinction london corporation i don't know i'm excited to be a grandpa in this okay next items are going to be jackets i found this camo zip up jacket by real tree it's vintage real tree because it is by dax back is the brand i found this i'm going to say it's a leopard print this does not look like a cheetah jacket and it is beautiful i believe it's from the 60s probably this off of the tag it's by manchester fabric by collins and aikman i have another christmas jacket look how cute that is it just buttons in the front. Some of it is part wool. And this coat keeps you very warm and toasty. I loved all the little designs on it. This is by Take Two Clothing Co. This jacket, I got it mainly because I liked how it had like block designs. Blue and then yellow and then like a maroon and then a green. It has a hood on it. It's by Leslie Fay. And then my last but most favorite jacket I found was this beautiful grandma carpet kind of jacket and it is just gorgeous it's so nicely made there's no brand the only thing that it has is like a small tag on the side that says the lot number on it but this is my new prized possession i love it so much okay let's move on to bottoms so first bottom is this like tie wrap denim skirt I've been really obsessed with like vintage 70s denim skirts just because they hit me very nicely. There's no brands that I could find. I found this 90s floral skirt. I really loved how the button details was off center and I love the two different types of floral fabrics on it and the buttons are all different too. And it's by the brand Marsha Brander for Components. And then I found another 70s skirt and this one's really funky and fun. Look at that pattern. I don't think it had a brand. Yeah, there's no brand. I like this skirt a lot. It has a bunch of animals on it, like elephants, zebras. And then I really love this skirt that's also from the 70s. It's like this beautiful paisley design. It's by Alex Coleman, California. Then I found this 70s skirt. It's just a white one that flares a bit. I thought it was super cute. It reminded me of the skirt my mom wore when she got married. I found these shorts. I think they're like 90s. It says the London jean on the back and it says Moda International. I really like the length of these because the length is longer than normal shorts because I really don't like if shorts are too short. And I liked this color. And then I found these 90 shorts, which I remember as a child. I believe I had a pair that looked like this and they had the little design on the bottom. I was so excited when I found these and they fit me too. It's by No Boundaries, I remember that for you. Then I found these fun shorts that have Mickey and Minnie on the bottom. Mickey's wearing overalls and Minnie's wearing a little floral dress. And it's by Mickey Unlimited Jerry Lee. And then I found some Levi's that are vintage. These are some Levi 505s and they're just black. They're made in the USA. I'm very excited about these pants. They're vintage 70s wool culottes. Honestly, they're pretty flattering on. I wasn't sure about them when I found them at the store, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get them. And then I tried them on. All right, next items are going to be dresses, sets, and like jumpsuits kind of things. First item is not technically a dress or jumpsuit or anything. It's a house coat, but look how beautiful this house coat is. 
It has no brand and I actually got it at like a vintage store in Upland. I went with my friends. I found this camo jumpsuit. <laughs> the camo got me. All right. It's just a really cool camo jumpsuit. I mean, what, what can I say about this? It's by Walls in the USA. Then I found this set. This was actually something at the thrift store I found at two different places in like the shirt and then the skirt area. The brand is by Orvieto Creations from Italy to Miami. And then I found the matching top to it as well. I found this really pretty like 60s, 70s dress. It was probably like a bridesmaid dress or something, but it's really long, but I loved the top part of it. I found a ski bib that I think is from like the 70s or the 80s, but it's just this tan ski bib and it zips up in the front and it's by Ski Teak International. This item is a prized possession of mine. I found it at the thrift store. I initially grabbed it because look how beautiful this floral design is. On closer inspection of it, I believe this dress is from the 30s because the material kind of feels like rayon a bit. Just how it's made, it has like this really pretty like curved detail on like the sides. It has no brand on it. I found this 90s dress. It's by BIA Born in America. It's just a floral basic 90s dress. This is a fun one. I found these overalls. They're not your typical overalls. They have sunflowers and gingham on the bottom and they're like shorts. It's by the brand New York Line. I can't wait to wear these during summertime. Also found these overall shorts. I love the different types of striped detailing. On the back it's different too. It's by No Excuses Dunkarees, the true original classic. And then I found this 90s dress. It's just a yellow floral dress. It has like these ties on the side and it's by the brand Jody California. I found this 60s dress. It's kind of like argyle diamond patterned dress and it has a little button detail on the front and the only tag that's in it is the tag of a bridge. It doesn't say anything else. And then I found a pair of overalls from the 90s that are from Old Navy and they have like a flare to them so they're not just straight leg, they have a little flare and I was excited to find them and they just fit me weird and I'm kind of sad about it. Next couple of items are kids clothes. We'll start off with these little shoes. They're like kind of lace up loafers. I don't know what you call this style of a shoe. I was calling them loafers and my mom was like, loafers usually don't have ties. I was like, well then what do you call these? Shoes? Just shoes? Anyways, they're really cute. I have some Doc Martens like this and I thought they'd be cute for my son and I to match whenever he gets to this size and shoe. And they're by Faded Glory. And then I found this really cute 60s little girls coat. It's just really nicely made. It's by the brand CJ Buckman. Then I found this vintage Chicago Bears jersey. It's single stitch on the sleeves and on the bottom hem and it says 34 on it. I'm not sure how old this is but my son also has another Chicago Bears long sleeve. Do I watch football at all? No. Have I ever watched the Chicago Bears? No. But my son's gonna be a fan of the Chicago Bears. I found these overalls that are just blue striped and then they have pockets on the side. I got these for my son. I thought they were so cute. I love finding overalls for him. I have so many now. And this is by Mario de Ferenz. I found this little girl's jumper. And it's by Lydia Jane. I thought it was really cute. Then I found this little onesie, short onesie for my son. I love this style for boys. Like it's so adorable and cute. It has a little castle embroidered on the side. There's no brand, it just has a tag. Then I found this Winnie the Pooh outfit. I thought like maybe my son could wear it during summertime, but it says it's for 14 to 19 pounds and my son is not, he's like 20 something pounds. So I don't think this is gonna work. I found this snowflake vest. I actually have this exact vest, but in gray for my son. And now he has a blue one and it'll be adorable. And then I found this little girl's outfit. That's like for Easter. It has little bunnies in a basket on the side. It's styled by Cradle Togs. 
All right, next items are going to be accessories. I don't have a lot of accessories, just a few. I found this little beanie. I really liked that it was brown. I'm not sure if I like this thing or not. I found this bandana, pretty positive, it's vintage. It just says guaranteed fast color, all cotton. I liked the design on it. I found these vintage cowboy boots. They're my size, except for they're a wide, so they're a bit big on me. The inside tag says it's by Luchis. Probably said that wrong. I actually like this style of cowboy boots. They're just simple, rounded toe, not anything too flashy. I found this purse. It's just a leather backpack purse. It's actually really nicely made leather. It has no brand in it. I'm assuming it's from the 90s. It has a cute little pocket in front and then like a big old pocket. And then my favorite thing about it, you have a wallet right here. It's the purse I've been using a lot lately, so I like it and I love the color. Then I found this Dooney and Burke purse. I love the size of it. All right, last items are home decor pieces. I found this mirror. I'm sure it's pretty old based off of like the back and it has really pretty floral designs on the side. I'm thinking it used to be like a tray. Looks like some handles got broken off on the sides. I found this basket. I like finding really nice baskets. By Longa Burger Baskets. Handwoven, Dresden, Ohio, USA. It has a cute little barn on it. And it says 1995. I just found this little, assuming it's a Cocker Spaniel bulldog. I also love collecting salt and pepper shakers. Like these ones that say Yosemite National Park with little bears on it. And they look like little logs or stumps. It says Inco National Made in Japan 1974. And then I found this salt and pepper shaker set. Little mushrooms, so cute. And then very last item that I found that is also a salt and pepper shaker is this cute little skunk that has a little like clothespin on its nose cause she's stinky. She has a little bow in her hair. She's made in Japan and she has an actual cork for the bottom. I love finding vintage salt and pepper shakers that have the cork on the bottom. All right, that is everything that I found in the past few months of thrifting. I'm hoping to have more content out for 2024. I'm hoping to do more things besides just thrifting content. So stay tuned for that. There.